this video, we are going to be running through one of my favorite Amazon FBA tools, Jungle Scout. Now, obviously I'm kidding. I've got the t-shirt on. We are going to be talking about one of my actual favorite tools, Helium 10, which is something that I've been using ever since I first started selling on Amazon in 2018. Now, every successful Amazon FBA seller, they all started as complete beginners and they didn't have an idea of what it was that they wanted to sell. Maybe that sounds like you right now. Instead, what they did is they used tools by Helium 10 to tell them the best things to sell by the fact that they could see what a product's sales history was, its profitability, the different ways that they could differentiate and more. That is completely right. If you are searching for a product to sell on Amazon right now, with the help of Helium 10, you don't even have to leave the house. If you want to be showered with product ideas, they've got the potential to make you thousands in profits every single month. Since I started selling in 2018, I've gone on to generate millions in revenues and hundreds of thousands in profits. And honestly, without a doubt, it's Helium 10 that helped me to get there thanks to its Amazon product research tools as well as its seller tools. So to people new to Amazon FBA, maybe you haven't heard of Helium 10 before, you haven't seen much of it, it can be a little bit overwhelming to use. So what I want to do right now is have a run through my favorite tools that they offer, there's quite a few, and how you can quickly get started using them so that you can go out and find a product to sell. We're also gonna be running through some of the more advanced tools that they have, so if you are an active seller and you want to improve your knowledge of Helium 10, then stick around, you're gonna learn something. So out of all of the tools that Helium 10 offers, it's the Chrome and Edge extension that without a doubt is the one that you're gonna be using the most. It shows you how much money certain sellers are making on Amazon, how much profit the same product would make you if you actually sold it, and so much more. And to get access to these features, all you need to do is search for Helium 10 Chrome extension on Google, add it to your Chrome or Edge browsers, and then just head to any Amazon marketplace of your choice and search for a product that you wanna have a little nosy into. As soon as any results page loads, you press the Helium 10 logo that should now appear in the top right hand corner of your screen and you're gonna be shown a list of tools that are available for you to explore further. X-Ray is the one that you'll probably be using the most because that's the tool that lets you see just how much sales demand there is for the product that you just looked up, as well as the average price point, review score, and so much more. You can check things out like how seasonal or trending a product is by looking at its sales history, as well as level of profitability and just so much other pieces of data it would take me forever to run through. Now, X-Ray is super fun to use, especially if you're just getting started because you can basically just nosy into any product niche and see how much money certain sellers are making. And because of that, it's a tool that you'll probably be using every single day whilst you're searching for something to sell. In this one box alone, you are provided with so much information that you're able to very quickly tell if a product that you've just found is actually worth your time investigating further in a bid to eventually start selling it. Now, another great tool within Helium 10's Chrome extension is X-Ray Keywords. And that's relatively new. It was introduced last year or so. And it tells you all of the phrases that Amazon customers are using right now to find the product that you've just searched for yourself. And when you're doing your product research, that is so useful because it can help to give you clues on ways that you can improve the product. And it also helps you to understand the type of keywords to be using in your listing, which is really helpful when you want to improve your search engine optimization or SEO. Helium 10's free Chrome extension also gives you the ability to look deeper into any Amazon product's individual performance. So to see that, once you've loaded up any Amazon listing, you're gonna see a new chart below the main image as soon as you've installed this Chrome extension. And that contains information on price history as well as sales ranking over time. And those aren't just helpful in understanding sales and price trends as a seller, 
But also, if you're a buyer, it helps you to understand if the price that you're seeing on the screen now is any good or if you should probably wait a week or two to see if there's going to be a price drop. Pressing the profitability calculator button also allows you to see an estimate of how much profit that seller is currently making and how much you could expect to make if you sold a similar product. The Helium 10 Chrome extension is also packed with more features and another one that I really like is called Review Insights and that basically summarizes all of a product's reviews on one tab and tells you the most common things that people love as well as hate about the product that you just found. And both of those things are really helpful to know when you're putting together a product offer that you want to ensure beats all of your competitors. Many of Helium 10's Chrome extension features are actually free. So regardless of whether you want to go on a plan that is paid or not, my advice is create a Helium 10 account using the link below. You don't have to pay up front. Then download the extension and then just start making use of some of these tools that I've walked through now. You're gonna have a lot of fun seeing how much money people are actually making. If you're struggling to find a product to sell on Amazon, then a tool that you're gonna love is Helium 10's Black Box. And that is basically a product database that contains millions of product ideas that are shown to you based on whatever criteria that you want. To access this tool, you just log into your helium10.com account. And again, you can create one of those using the link below the description. Sign up for a free plan to make use of this tool and then select black box from the top of the screen. To get you started, the filters that I typically tend to use are the Amazon category for the products that we want to find, the price point that it typically sells for, the number of reviews that it's received in the past, and then the amount of monthly revenue that it's generating on Amazon. And another filter that is really useful to check out that not many people tend to use is the number of images that the product listing has. If you can say, only show me products that have three images or less, that typically is gonna show you product ideas that are selling well, but don't have a very optimized listing. And that means that there's an opportunity for you to come in and do something better. When using Black Box, the secret to finding good products is to honestly, it's just play around, have a cheeky fiddle of all the filters in order to ensure that you keep seeing new and fresh ideas and just stay persistent. And once you've done applying your search criteria, all you do is hit the search button and honestly, within a second or two, you're gonna be shown so many products that you can consider selling that you just never would have thought of. There's some really strange ideas on here. Most people that end up using Helium 10's black box, they only use the tab that we just walked through there. But a little trick from me, one of my actual favorite parts of black box is that you use the keywords tab. And this one is, is kind of similar to the product finder that we just covered. But instead of you being shown products already on Amazon, what you're gonna be shown instead are the search terms that customers are using to possibly try and find certain products instead. And you're also gonna see data associated with those search terms, such as the level of sales, reviews, price point, and so on. So if you're gonna use black box, then using this tab here, it's an essential step to take when doing your product research. Because in my experience, sometimes it will show you various search terms that customers are using to find certain products that aren't actually available on Amazon yet. And if you can find a golden nugget like that, so a search term that's being used loads and loads of times for products not on Amazon, that means that you can try and find that product from a supplier, get ahead of the curve, order it, and just be known as an absolute legend to Amazon customers. If you're really struggling with finding a product to sell on Amazon, then take my advice and learn to use black box properly. It takes all of the pain out of finding new Amazon product ideas. So learn how to use it, give it a whirl, and I promise you, you're gonna find ideas that you can consider further within hours. If you really wanna be a successful seller on Amazon, then you need to make sure that your product's Amazon listing is search engine optimized. So that means it's written well and it's using the right keywords to ensure that you appear to the right customers when they are searching on Amazon. Now, there's no guessing involved here when it comes to what keywords do I actually need to put in? 
because Helium 10's Cerebro and Magnet tools, both of those are gonna tell you what keywords you need to use when describing your product in order to achieve the most success. If you're still struggling with finding a product to sell with Amazon FBA, then that doesn't mean that you should ignore Helium 10's Magnet and Cerebro tools because both of those, even though they are predominantly for keyword research, can actually help you find a product. And the way that they do that is they can both show you what customers are searching for when trying to find a specific product on Amazon. And you might not think it, but honestly, that is an amazing piece of information that you can be given when you're trying to understand if there's an opportunity for you to improve a certain aspect of a particular product that you've already got in mind. To get the best use out of Cerebro, if you're doing your keyword research, all you do is select it from the drop down menu on Helium 10, paste in up to five or so of your competitors' ASINs, which you can find in the product detail section of every Amazon listing, and then press get keywords. And the list that you're gonna be shown then is, is probably gonna be quite big, probably with, a, again, a load of random weird results. So the best way to fix that is to apply the organic match type filter and then change ranking competitors to be at least three. And once you've done that and you've put the results in order of how popular they are, what you should see is a decent list of keywords that you can include in your products listing in order to ensure that you've got the best SEO and Amazon customers can actually find you. Helium 10's magnet tool kind of does a similar job to Cerebro, but instead of you using competitors to find relevant keywords, you're gonna plug in a search term, like a seed term, to describe the product that you actually want to sell. And then what Magnet will do is show you what it thinks all of the other associated keywords are that customers out there are using to find the product that you want to sell. Like Cerebro, Magnet is really helpful in allowing you to see the keywords that you need to use when you're putting your Amazon listing together. But where it goes one step further, is that it can give you clues as to how you can improve a product that you've got in mind based on what customers are currently searching for. And that's because if you do look hard enough through the list of results, there's gonna be instances where you'll see search terms for certain features of a product that isn't actually available on Amazon yet. That is super handy to have, great information to have when you're trying to find ways to differentiate your product. In addition to using Cerebro and Magnet to get the best keywords to boost your Amazon listings search engine optimization, you wanna make sure that you're also using Helium 10's other listing tools, which include Frankenstein, Listing Analyzer, and its Listing Builder, which actually now uses AI to make your listing even better. The Frankenstein tool is pretty simple in nature, although it might look very basic, it is really helpful to put your keywords in and to sort them into something more manageable. So basically, its job is to remove duplicates and single letter words from your huge list of keywords that you would have got from Cerebro and Magnet. So to use it, just copy and paste your keywords list that you got from Cerebro and Magnet into the box on the left, apply your settings, and then press process. Pretty straightforward. And once you've got that refined list of keywords, you can then move them over to Helium 10's listing builder. And that helps you to write an awesome Amazon product listing that includes all of the keywords that you found during your keyword research. So paste those into the keyword bank on the left and then start writing away. Really helpfully, when you're using this listing builder and you type out any of the keywords from your keyword list, it'll get crossed out from the master keyword section which is really handy to make sure that you don't miss out any of your keywords from your listing. Whilst writing your listing, you can also just check out your listing's quality score and then keep making changes until you've got a mark out of 10 and you've got ticks next to all of the identified best practices. For an understanding of the quality needed to actually beat your competition into oblivion, as well as the type of things to write and mistakes to avoid, Helium 10 actually now uses AI, which will pull information from your competitors' listings directly into the listing analyzer tool and just tell you improvements that you need to make. Pretty clever. Helium 10's listing tools, when they're combined with Cerebro and Magnet, they help to ensure that you have an optimized listing that just convinces customers to buy from you without any further question. So make sure you check all of those tools out too, especially when you are writing your listing. If you're currently about to start selling on Amazon or you already have some selling experience, 
then your Helium 10 subscription is still well worth keeping because they have a ton of tools for active sellers as well. Two of my favorites are Refund Genie, which helps you to get reimbursements from Amazon in the event that they lose your stock and then just don't tell you, which they sometimes do, naughty, naughty. And the follow-up tool, which is an auto emailer that will tell the customer a little bit more about your brand and then hit them with a review request as soon as they've made a purchase from you. Before you can use Refund Genie, you're gonna to need to make sure that your Amazon account is connected to Helium 10 so that it can pull all the relevant data from Amazon. So once you've done that, select it from the dashboard, start it running and it will work its magic over a couple of hours and then send you a spreadsheet that tells you exactly how much it thinks that Amazon owes you. And you can then use that information to send seller support a message to get reimbursed. Helium 10's follow-up tool also requires access to your Amazon account before you can use it properly. And that's so it can start pulling your sales information and know which customers it needs to message. So basically its job is to automatically message every single customer of yours using your own custom content, which you can use to tell the customer about your brand and most importantly of all, to request a review. Over the years, I've sent hundreds of thousands of these messages and I've received quite a lot of nice replies back from customers most of the time, apart from the occasional asshole. And because of those nice replies and those nice messages that I've sent out, I've received thousands of five-star reviews. So follow-up is absolutely something that I would highly recommend that you set up as soon as you start selling on Amazon, or if you're currently selling on Amazon, get a Helium 10 account now and create your follow-up settings. Other features of Helium 10, yeah, I know, there's still more and more and more that they're constantly adding. Those include, Keyword Tracker, which allows you to keep track of your product's search page position for any keyword that you specify. Their Market Tracker, which is a tool that calculates your market share and also monitors your competitor's relative performance. And then Alerts, which is a really handy tool that will email you or send a notification on your phone whenever you get a new review or a change is made to your listing. Essential things to know as an Amazon FBA seller, especially if you wanna reduce that anxiety Anxiety. Helium 10, as you've seen from this video, is jam-packed full of tools. And whilst I've tried my best to give you the lowdown in as small a time as possible, the truth is that there's just so much more that you can use to find best products to sell and just to run your Amazon business. And without a doubt, if I hadn't have had access to Helium 10 over the past five years, I simply wouldn't have been able to take my business all the way to seven figures. So make sure you check those guys out. There is a link in the description below that will give you a discount if you wanna sign up to a paid plan, or if you don't, just use the link anyway and then get a free plan and just test out some of the features that we've spoken about today. That's it for this week, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this Healing 10 review. Let me know in the comments if you want me to review any other tools or if you've got other favorite features of Healing 10 that I missed out. And I will see you guys next time.